They should never have a right to censor you on an open platform. James Clapper. James Clapper lies to Congress, lies under oath that the United States intelligence agency were not. They were not collecting data on Americans. And he kind of threw it out there like, you know, maybe by happenstance, I'm, don't quote me on the exact wording, but maybe by happenstance he might get some. A blatant lie. And later, after the statute of limitations expires, where he could be charged with perjury, does he come out and give an explanation that he gave the most the most lenient untruthful answer? Yeah. Well, you lie. Yes. You lie. You lied under oath. Now, these are the players involved with this. So this is going to go way deeper than what the public is saying. Yeah. There's actors that have been doing things for years unchecked. Yeah. Obviously, the FBI, CIA, DOJ, DNI, NSA think they answer to no one. It was a real bad thing. Who are the core members of Sandy Hook Justice, the people who run the organization? They are Wolfgang, Carlisle, Eric and Tony running Sandy Hook Hope, Jonathan, Corey, Maureen, Zero, whoever he may be, real core inner circle group. I think it is another win. 329. Now you have a thousand dollars. You can stop now if you want. Keep a thousand dollars because if you get the next one wrong, you lose all your money. Child sex crimes, exploitation, pay-to-play, perjury, and Hillary's new FBI investigation is part of a huge underground Clinton DC sex network that's according to insider claims. And you have John Brennan, James Clapper, James Comey, Michael Hayden, all these players that were in control of those entities yeah. are now embroiled in this soft coup to destroy the presidency of the United States. gonna really do a number on me. I'm challenging President Obama, my son Donald, my son Eric. Let's go, ladies. By revoking this security clearance, he's cutting off the pipeline that's just flowing into the mouths of these players whose whole purpose truly is to bring down the United States of America. According to an email forwarded to us late last night and originated from a Comcast email address, the technical crew for NBC, which produced the event, is now speaking out about what took place moments after Clinton walked off the set. A massive profanity-laced tirade aimed at NBC's host, Matt Lauer. It turned out that Clinton had been fed all the questions for approval in advance of the forum. 
But then, after the approval process, Matt Lauer had a change of heart. FBI. Hello, how are you doing, sir? How are you? Uh, pretty good. Is this the office? I'm sorry, what office are you looking for? Uh, who are you trying to reach? I'm trying to reach coordination with the New York City Police Department. Uh, this is, uh, FBI New York office, uh... Yes, joined by a... Is available at this time? Uh... Who, who may ask this call? Um, uh, my name is... I have a question for... The... Through the FBI Joint Task Force. I don't know... Is, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Alright, who do you work for? I'm gonna, listen, I'm not trying to get into this, the FBI New York, how can we help you? Alright. Is the FBI in regulatory action right now within the NYPD as to not display specific amounts of evidence or have they been under any sort of federal control as a restriction? A restriction that I am asking for explicitly as to why the NYPD cannot make a specific arrest currently, tonight, as to the evidence they have acquired for the Anthony Weiner incident. Oh, this is an Anthony Weiner question? No, uh, this is much larger. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not in a position to answer that question. So the FBI has not restricted the NYPD in any way whatsoever? No, I said, I, I said I'm not answering that question. Okay, well, could you get me to someone who can answer that question? No. Okay, I would like to institute a whistleblower's protection policy. Are you familiar with those? Uh, yes. All right. I'm going to incorporate you as the respondent uh, for the question from the public. Can a... Under the Whistleblower Act, and if you would like me to cite it to you, I will state it right now. It is... 5. For whistleblower protection, are you aware of that? Yes. Yes or no? Yes, I just answered yes. Okay, so you are aware of that. So, under federal perjury, has the FBI directed the NYPD to arrest or not to arrest certain individuals within the case of crimes within jurisdiction of the New York City Police Department involving a federal crime that outreaches your jurisdiction or is in the jurisdiction of the state to file felony charges against an individual that is within the state confines. No comment. No comment? Has the FBI, state, federal, does not matter, has the FBI directed the New York Police Department to not report on specific crimes they have allotted with evidence to file against a certain select individual being named those under emails of the Anthony Weiner case. No comment. There has to be a statement, yes or no. No comment. This is a jurisdictional line. No comment. Excellent. So the NYPD won't state whether or not they've received any directive from the FBI. Federal, nationwide, and or report any evidence of a federal crime under that jurisdictive notice and or not to report to any other federal agency outside of those confines. Meaning a separate agency, sir. If a separate agency is requesting those same confines with the same jurisdiction as you, are you stating that the federal government has outlined that every other person that could or could not have an influence on that particular case, you're stating that the FBI is solely 
discressed at their own discretion, told the NYPD not to report, investigate, comply with any DOD directive outside of that policy. That's the Whistleblower Protection Act. You do know that, correct? No comment. I'm going to state it further as such that an individual in confines of my own I am going to attest that the FBI did not give me any answers to any questions or any comment. We just have a room for a second, please, two guys. Trailblazer, if your audience remembers, was the mass data collection apparatus that did not have Fourth Amendment protections in it. It has been an open secret in the intelligence community in D.C. Obama could never satisfy the constitutional requirement to have been born on American soil. This is critical. That's the open secret. Here's another thing, too. The NSA has every single email that you ever sent, that I ever sent, that Hillary ever sent and or received. Guaranteed fact. Not including all the other little entities around the world that were shopping in that server. WikiLeaks is providing leaks that are softballs. You got that? If WikiLeaks wanted to take Hillary down her entire campaign, they would release the emails between Petraeus and Clinton, Clinton and Obama, right? All the things that happened during the Sandy Hook era <laughs> and during the Nazi. Because if that were to happen, the Provost Marshal would be making an arrest. So apparently, they're just throwing softballs. Yeah. Because it's pointing at all these other people that have some sort of direct connection with Hillary and her campaign, but it's not pointing directly to her what she said, or what Obama said, or what Petraeus said. No, 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 no. It's all softball. It's all smoke and mirrors. So. Anyway, I'm going to leave the links down below so you can check out that video for yourself and see, once again, somebody's just trying to trick you. Just a big old magic trick. You know what? I don't know what he said about Sandy Hook, and I personally, I don't care. He came out and said they were going to come after free speech. They were going to use these technology companies to do it. They were going to target him. All of that is happening now. They should never have a right to censor you on an open platform. This is critical.